Well, welcome to the Cinnabar. <laughs> well, it looks like it's shooting a little bit high, but we did put a herd on those two jugs up there. Now, this isn't your typical Winchester lever action cowboy gun. In fact, that's a long ways from it. But it is, to me, one of the most interesting models that Winchester ever produced for a variety of reasons. Now, this is the model 1895 Russian contract musket. And Winchester produced a whole lot of them. In fact, over 293,000 of these for Tsarist Russia in World War I. They have such a history behind them. I mean, not only are these a John Browning designed lever action Winchester, but they, they fought in several conflicts and were used heavily in Europe. And few of them survive today, at least that have come back to the United States. The ones that have come back from Europe typically are, are really well used examples. I'm told there's still quite a few in, uh, in Russia that are used by the film industry for old war movies. But they were also used in the Spanish Civil War. Uh, and then, interestingly enough, the, the Finns had a bunch of them when the Winter War of 38 broke out and used them against the Russians. But today we're not here to talk about the, the Russian muskets per se. Um, I've done some, some previous episodes on these things. But we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of Russian Contract 1895 variants that most people don't know exist. In fact, I didn't know existed until just recently when I happened to be invited to the Cody Firearms Museum uh, to do some filming over there. And we got the opportunity to, to dig out a couple of these, these prototype Russian Contract 1895s. So stick around and uh, this ought to be a pretty interesting episode for you 95 fans or you 1895 uh, con Russian Contract fans out there. Well, welcome to the Cody Firearms Museum. And today we're down in the basement in the inner sanctum of, of the Winchester Reference Collection. Now, we're gonna talk today about one of my favorite models. And if you watch the, the, our episodes very often, you know that I'm pretty partial to the 1895 Winchester. And there's one particular variant of the 1895 Winchester that's just drawn incredible collector interest and the, the value of these rifles or these muskets has, has just climbed exponentially over the last few years. And that, of course, is the Russian contract muskets in 7.62 by 54 rimmed. Now, most of us who are into Winchester lever actions or military firearms have heard of the 1895 Russian contract muskets. But even I didn't know some of these other variants existed until just recently when Danny Michaels, curator of the museum, who knows my, my fondness for 95, was telling me about these. Today we've got a prototype Russian contract carbine. Now this, this is just a fascinating little carbine. It's in, in the, uh, the same configuration as a standard carbine, sans the saddle ring, uh, has the stripper clip guides, it is missing a rear sight, and then it has an in the white 762 barrel uh, with a little different military style uh, front sight mount here. But other than that, very, very similar to just a standard 1895 saddle ring carbine. This one, of course, is unissued. We don't know if any others of these were made or ever sent to Russia. Um, we know that, that the 1895 U.S. contract muskets, they did produce a fair number of carbine versions, but they show up in the, in the records here at Cody as, as muskets instead. Now, next we have one that is really fascinating to me. This is an... Eight, or a 7.62x54R musket, but in the exact same configuration as a 30-06 or 30-06 NRA musket. 24-inch barrel, tall front sight. We've got the, 
the handguard with the cutout in the back and the barrel drilled in the back for a the rear sight to be at the very back of the barrel so we've got a little bit extra um, sight radius and then again we've got our stripper clip guides here and we've got the NRA style butt stock here with a flat butt so just a fascinating piece um, this one actually is serial numbered in the 145,000 serial number range so this would have been produced and, and this uh, carbine as well it's about 140,000 serial number range during the middle of the run of NRA muskets that were being produced for or not NRA muskets but for the Russian contract muskets so somewhere during the, the production of the NRA muskets they they made these prototype guns now whether this was at the behest of the of the Russian government or if this was just something that Winchester was doing and trying to market to the Russian government we we really don't know at this point but uh, a fascinating couple of examples of 1895s that, that never found their way to market so I really want to express our appreciation to the Cody Firearms Museum for letting us handle these one-of-a-kind Russian contract firearms. Um, just fabulous examples of, of some of the history of Winchester and, and some of those, those dead-end roads that, that didn't go anywhere. Um, but we're, we're so thankful that these things still exist. Now just to be clear about the nomenclature of firearms in the late 19th and early 20th century, this is a carbine. And of course, because of this floppy little round thing, a saddle ring carbine to be more exact. This is an example of a rifle, or a sporting rifle. And this is an example of a musket. Now the reason I say that is because, while most of you already know that, that, that there are lever action muskets, every time I show a lever action musket episode, I get comments from people that say those aren't muskets, they aren't smoothbore muzzle loaders, and they, so they can't be a musket. Well, while a big, big bunch of the, the muskets that were produced were smoothbore muzzle loaders, that, that isn't the case that, the, that all of them were. In fact, millions of, of muskets were built during the Civil War that were rifled. They were still muzzle loaders, but they were rifled muskets. And, and so the terminology at the time was that basically we had a carbine version, we had a rifle version, and we had a musket version for the military type firearms. And not just Winchester used that, but Marlin, Savage, and even Colt made Colt Lightning rifles in a musket version and called them a musket. Okay. Winchester made musket versions of all their lever actions and called them and marketed them as, as muskets. So we had a lot of 66s and 73s made. The U.S. Army never uh, adopted those, but several foreign uh, militaries did adopt 66 and 73 muskets. There were a few 76 muskets made. There were quite a few 85 muskets made. There were a few 86 muskets, a few 92 muskets, a few 94 muskets, but they, they never got contracts. And then there were a whole lot of 95 muskets, not just the, the Russian muskets, but there was an a order of 10,000 U.S. muskets by the U.S. military. And then there were a, a couple of smaller orders for the Colorado National Guard and the Kentucky National Guard. Now, the, the, the uh, muskets that were made by, by Colt Lightnings, Obviously, they didn't have the, the full wood foreend like this, but they did have an extra length barrel and they had bayonet lugs. In fact, they made about 2,000 of the medium frame lightning muskets and three prototype uh, large frames. And I've been fortunate enough to handle a couple of those large frames. In fact, one of them just went through the shop here recently uh, to get some repair work done on it. So while, while a lot of people have, have been under the impression for, for many years that, that a musket only referred to smoothbore muzzle loaders, it, it's just not the case. So now, now we're hopefully we're all on the same page. Well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned a little something. 
Well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and hope maybe you learned a little something. If you're interested in these Russian muskets, there's a fabulous chapter in Casabin Dunbar's 1895 book on these. It was written by my good friend Mike Carrick, who actually I bought this particular Russian musket from. So until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar. <laughs>